Welcome back everyone, I'm the Redstone Warper here, and today I'm here with a short little redstone video of this double speed, one wide tileable shulker box unloader. I'm actually designing this for the next video that's going to come out, uh, so that I can unload shulker boxes for pretty quickly, and I decided I'd try my hand at designing my own. So someone could have built this before, but I have no knowledge of it. So here's this just in case you find this helpful. This is nine blocks wide and six blocks tall. If you don't count this bottom two blocks, cause that's just for the contraption I'm working on right now. Uh, and it is one wide tile mold. So it works perfectly side by side um, and doesn't interfere with each other. So you can put boxes in the top, they get unloaded. And then in this case, I'm just dispensing the items off the bottom. So if we just take some boxes real quick, we can chuck a couple in there, wait a little bit just to get the other one running at a slightly different time. And you can see each one is running independently, unloading the boxes and putting them into these barrels and dispensing all the items out because that's what I'm going to need in the contraption that I'm making. So this is the part of the video where I'm just going to kind of explain how this works and of course there will be a lightmatic in the description so if you want to use that as well you'll have that too. So you're going to put your items in the top part and this, these barrels are not actually necessary there. I was just using those as inputs there but the items will come in these top hoppers and come into the dispenser here. When the comparator detects that there's an item in here, it will extend this piston, which will power the hopper, which quasi powers the dispenser to spit out the shulker right here. Then it detects the items inside the shulker, which powers and depowers these torches, which then extends this piston, which locks this hopper here. So a few items will get stuck in whatever inventory is above, above but that's really not that big of a deal. This observer blockchain here detects when this hopper is being powered or not at which then pulls up the observer like this so that that way when this comparator depowers when the items are completely out of the shulker box it will deactivate this line which is then detected by this observer which then pushes the observer back down which powers this rail which powers this observer which then powers this block which both turns off these hopper minecarts here and extends the piston of course, when this piston is extended because the hyper minecarts are off, it is able to push the shulker into this hopper, which is then collected into this barrel. Then, of course, the hopper minecart is straddling these two hoppers so that both streams of items go into the dropper to be dispensed out for a different contraption. But, of course, you can hook up whatever you need down here. You could also take this hopper line and just have it a straight line across like this if you wanted all of them to be connected together um, but in this case I just made it come out to the barrel so you can have them do what you want so yeah here is my nine wide six tall one wide tileable double speed choker unloader so hopefully this is useful to somebody and for all of you who stayed all the way to the end here's a sneak peek on my latest contraption that will be in the next video of course, I'd like to thank everybody who's watching right now, so go ahead and leave a like or a comment on the video below. And I would like to thank everybody who is subscribed for getting me to 200 subscribers so quickly after we reach the first 100. I can't thank you enough. Thanks for watching.